Sometimes the news can really get you down. With story after story detailing the horrors of the day, it's not hard to feel like common decency is sorely lacking in our modern world. Well, we're here to remind you that the cameras don't always capture the worst moments of life. They can document the good ones too. We've put together a collection of videos to remind you that humans aren't always quite so bad. Without further ado, let's dive into our second installment of Amazing Acts of Kindness Caught on Camera. In February of 2020, Australian Twitch streamer Rob D, who goes by the handle RobCD, was live streaming to his followers outside of a kebab shop in Tokyo, Japan. As he begins to show off some of his equipment on camera, a man and a woman venture into the frame. I'm there. The woman appears subtly distressed, staring at the 29-year-old streamer with intent. Oh. Oh, sorry. Hi. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. It's alright. Have a good night, man. Hi. See you. Where from? Australia. Australia. Wow. Yeah. Have a good night, man. So, oh, uh, now is it fair? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> see you, man. Have a good night. No problem. At first, it seems like her non-verbal signals aren't being received. But when the woman tells the unknown man at her side that she knows Rob, the Twitch streamer doesn't hesitate. As the woman moves away from the man, Rob immediately claps his hand on her back and confirms that she is indeed a friend. <laughs> See you, man. Have a good night. No. You're welcome. I'm very afraid of Japan. You? Kind of my trips. Uh, yeah, to. Two days ago uh, in Japan. Yeah. Coming to Japan. Oh, really? Yes. Are you in danger? Yes, very danger. Really? As we then see, he's able to get the other man to leave without too much drama. It turned out that the young woman was a tourist from Morocco, and the mystery man had been trying to flirt with her for some time, following her and making her feel uncomfortable. Luckily, Rob was ready to play along and defuse the situation. Since it was later in the evening and many trains in Tokyo stopped running at midnight, the pair hung out until the early morning hours when the trains picked back up. He hasn't seen or heard from the woman since then and assumes she's safely back in Morocco. Even though Rob received heaps of online praise for his actions, he's remained neutral, stating, honestly, I feel like I did what anyone would do in this situation. Let's all hope we've got a Rob around during our next dilemma. If we're lucky enough to make it through our younger years, age is something that is coming for us all. It's nice to know that even in our fast-paced modern life, some people are still ready to help out those who need it. On June 4th, 2018, an elderly man with two canes was struggling to cross the road in Myanyang, China. At first, he appears to be prepared to cross with several pedestrians. Moving far more slowly, it becomes clear that the man isn't going to make it across before the light changes and cars are beginning to move into the intersection. Even though the drivers were respectful, waiting quietly instead of honking their horns and yelling, a nearby police officer went above and beyond to help out the gentleman. Happily, the police officer puts the older man on his back and carries him across the remainder of the intersection with relative ease. The cop was later identified as Chin Wei Jie, an officer with the Myanyang Traffic Police in the southwestern province of Sichuan. The footage initially went viral on Weibo, the Chinese version of Twitter, before gaining the attention of the world. It might seem like a small thing, but it's those little acts of kindness that make life a touch brighter on cloudy days. We're sure glad those CCTV cameras were rolling to catch this heartwarming moment. American football has the reputation of being hyper-competitive and violent. 
However, this story proves that some play just for the love of the game, and many are ready to support them. During the 2019 season, a senior at Billings Skyview Central High in Montana scored the first and only touchdown the team would earn that night. Playing in his final game against Missoula Sentinel High, Tristan Edwards ran for an incredible 89-yard touchdown. What makes Tristan's accomplishment all the more endearing is the support and love he received from not only his own teammates, but also from his rivals at Missoula High. Tristan was born with arthrogryposis multiplex congenita, a rare joint disorder that affects his joint flexibility, as well as his overall size. As a senior in high school, Tristan stands at only 5 foot 3 inches and weighs 89 pounds, making him roughly the size of a 12-year-old. Tristan, who has played football for Skyview since his freshman year, has always given all his energy and effort to the sport. Interviewed by his local news station during his sophomore season, he said, I just really love the game, and I love to do what football players do. He's admired by his coaches and fellow teammates for his unwavering spirit and boundless work ethic. So, with Skyview down 45-0 in the final moments of the game, both teams came together to give Tristan a moment of glory, running behind him for the full 89 yards with cheers ringing out from both sides the whole way. Tristan Edwards with the ball. Touchdown, Tristan. During a particularly wintry January night in 2020, Two police officers on duty noticed a woman standing on the corner of a street in their jurisdiction of Norcross, Georgia. Holding a bunch of balloons and looking visibly tired and cold, she readily accepted a ride home when the two cops offered one. However, these altruistic officers ended up taking a small detour along the two-mile journey to her home. How you doing, ma'am? Where are you trying to get to? You want to ride? Come on. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. The woman, who remains to be unidentified, let the two men know it was her daughter's first birthday, and she'd been hoping to get her a cake. But she had already walked quite a distance to get the balloons, and it was getting late and cold. As we see, the policeman, Sergeant Nick Boney, and Officer Jimmy Wilson readily fulfill her wishes. Go get her uh, a birthday cake. With a, with a number one candle. Let's see if they got any in there. Okay. How old, your baby just turned one today? Yes. Boy or girl? A girl. After purchasing an ice cream cake with yellow frosting and a candle shaped like the number one, Boney and Wilson drive the mother back to her home where all three adults go inside to celebrate. You wanna see her? Uh, yeah, actually we got a little surprise. So okay. Just give me a second. Awesome. Thank you, Officer Wilson. Yep, no problem. Oh, wow. There's her cake. Thank you. You're welcome. Can we say hi? Yes. Hi. hi. How are you? Good. Can I give you a hug? Uh -huh. Hi. How are you? Oh, big hugs. Hi, Fiara. Is this your birthday? Yes. You're so cute. Hi. How are y'all doing today? Whoa. See, mine doesn't do that. Oh. There we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tara. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay! Got blow real hard. As the evening progressed, the officers learned that the woman was a single mother to three daughters. The video was discovered during a random audit of the Gwinnett County Police Department's body cam footage and released to the public. 
Even though Boney and Wilson, both fathers themselves, have been the subject of much admiration since the body cam footage went viral, Sergeant Boney says the credit should go to the mother. Quote, she exhibits a love and caring for her family that people, most of the time, take for granted or never see. Happy birthday, dear Tara. Happy birthday to you. When 14-year-old Lorelai Kate entered Dr. Kenny Wilstead's dentistry clinic in Garland, Texas, on January 3, 2020, both she and her mother Annie were optimistic that he held the solution to her crooked teeth. What's your name? Lorelai. Lorelai, and you're how old? 14. Do you love your teeth? No. <laughs> what don't you like about them? Just the way that they look. They're just... ugly. <laughs> Initially, Annie had hoped that Dr. Wilstead would be able to straighten out her daughter's smile with porcelain crowns, a cheaper solution to traditional metal braces. The young teen's teeth were making her the target of mean girls and school bullies, and Annie was anxious to improve her daughter's quality of life. Since I haven't got braces yet, people make fun of me and say that it's because I can't afford braces, and then people tell me things like, stupid things like, boys will never like me with teeth like this and stuff. Do you think I can do it? Well, I hope so. <laughs> However, after assessing Lorelai's teeth, it was obvious to the dentist that she would need real braces and an orthodontist's expertise. Yeah, I can't fix that. She needs ortho real bad, but I'm not an orthodontist. And she's not a candidate for Invisalign, so she needs real braces. Dr. Wilstead didn't know how to break the news to Annie and Lorelai, especially when he realized the family couldn't afford braces. He made a split-second decision that changed the course of Lorelai's life, deciding to treat his patient as if she were his own daughter. Here's the moment where Dr. Wilstead shares his heartwarming choice with the duo. Smile again. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay for your braces. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yeah. What do you think about that? I, I don't even know. Is that okay? Yeah. Because I, you need to be literally, your teeth should be as pretty as you are. And anything less than that isn't good enough. Thank you. Don't even have to say. No, you're welcome. Sometimes you can only do so much as parents. You gotta be promised me that after we do that, and after your teeth are perfect, that you are a nice person and, that, and not a bit. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah. With the dentist digging into his own pockets to cover Lorelai's orthodontia, the only thing that he asks for in return is that she be a nice person. Annie, clearly overcome with emotion and realizing what this means for her daughter, begins to cry. It's an overwhelming gesture of financial goodwill. And Dr. Wilstead realizes the impact that he made with his quick decision, telling Storyful that, it was a moment Annie will never forget because she has never once in her life been given anything as life-changing as the gift I offered her daughter that day. Lorelai has since gotten her braces on, and we hope she's well on her way to a brand new smile. Sometimes, a kind act for others can be a risk to yourself. In the spring of 2015, Polish jogger Krzysztof Woldarczyk was out training with his son in the dense Grablin forest near his home in Konin, Poland. The pair stumbled across a mouflon sheep in clear distress. Hi. The creature is a kind of wild sheep that is native to the Grablin forest. 
And although it isn't inherently aggressive, any time a wild animal is approached, especially one that's trapped and frightened, caution is warranted. Kristoff, who sees the local sheep population as his neighbors, quickly passed the camera off to his son so he could aid the animal. A nie peruk mu? Pomóc? Czekaj, go chcę pogłaskać. Tylko uważaj na niego. O, prawie! Jak on się tu zaczepił? Powoli. Jest! Ale szczęśliwy, co? No. Kristoff bravely grabs the ram's horn several times before finally freeing him from the tree, even letting out an exuberant Yes! as the animal canters away. According to Voldarczyk, after getting a short distance away from the two humans, the sheep turned back to look at his liberator, as if to say, thank you. While we don't recommend grabbing any wild animal by their horns, we're glad it turned out so well this time. Yes! Maybe you're extremely lucky and you've never fallen on hard times before, but if you have, you know that a helping hand in your hour of need can go a long way. On Thanksgiving Day in 2020, police were summoned to a grocery store in Arlington, Texas to answer a shoplifting call. Upon arrival, officers Gadina and Wen learned that a woman had entered the store, taken several items, and then left without paying. The two men managed to catch up with the woman in question, and their interaction was captured on body cam. Are you hungry? Is all this food? Yes. Where are you taking this stuff to? Uh, Okay. I'm just going to take a picture of this stuff. I'll, I'll head back there and I'll, I'm just going to pay for it. So you took everything? I just need to know what I need to pay for it. I'm not taking you to jail or anything. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Uh, let's do this. Um, let me get my phone. I'm going to take a picture of what's in here and then We'll give you a ride to your tent because I don't want you walking in traffic. And then I'm going to head back there and take care of that for you, okay? Once it became clear that the woman was homeless and that everything she had stolen was food, Officer Gadina decides against arresting her. He documents the foodstuffs, drives the woman to her tent, and then says he'll return to the business to settle her debt. Upon dropping her off, Officer Gadina gave the woman some bottled water and introduced her to a local homelessness outreach officer. You're very, you're very kind and I appreciate it. It's okay, ma'am. You're welcome. At a time when he could have simply arrested her and would have been well within the law to do so, Officer Gadina opted for compassion. His actions remind us that underneath all of our job titles and responsibilities, we are still all linked by common human needs. A little kindness can go a long way. I'll head back there and I'll, I'm just going to pay for it. Well, our spirits are certainly lifted, and we hope yours are too. If you still need a pick-me-up, you could check out our first video in this series by clicking the thumbnail on screen. As always, we'd love to hear from you. Tell us about a random act of kindness you've witnessed in the comments below. Thanks for watching.